Thailand is roughly the same size as Texas. Big, but not that big. Unless, of course, one measures their independence streak. Thailand was never colonized, and Texas, of course, had the Alamo. To cross Texas from border to border is about 870 miles on a good 16 hours on the road. To drive from the north border to the south border in Thailand is about 940 miles, and it would take 20-some hours to complete the journey. Either trip would take nerves of steel. Often, when I think of Texas, an old army buddy and these guys come to mind. I was always taught that if I needed help, just ask a policeman. Unfortunately, in Thailand, most people try to avoid the police, and this was a concept that was difficult to get my head around. Here are a couple of examples. Where are you from? barked the officer in English. He was looking at me. He was talking to me. He was two feet away from me. I was at a traffic stop. Legal or not, this is their ballpark and their rules. I simply said that I was from America, and he waved us through. This is all part and parcel of living here. I often see on the American news where a driver is pulled over and immediately starts arguing with the police or refuses to hand over their driver's license. My suggestion is not to do that here in Thailand. Having said that, one time Dee and I were crossing the street from the market to this hardware store when a police officer waved for me to come to him. Dee ignored him and muttered, keep walking. So I did. Not what I would do in Texas. One morning, the local bamboo grapevine was on fire. Apparently, there was a drug bust involving amphetamines right down the road from us. Naturally, I grabbed my camera, jumped on the motorcycle, and went to where all of the action was. As I was sitting on the bike, while on the side of the road, watching the police at work, this gentleman came over and told me to stop. He wasn't wearing a uniform. He didn't show me any ID. Plus, legally, it is permissible for me to film what is going on. <laughs> How would you react? Me? I put my camera down. I ain't stupid. Thai police don't receive much of a monthly salary, plus an officer generally has to pay for their own gun, motorcycle, gas, and uniform. However, there are numerous fringe benefits. As a result, many Thais complain about corruption within the police force, and slowly that issue is being addressed. The police here are similar to the ones in the States, and as such, there is always a few bad apples in the bushel. Regardless, most of them are trying their best to do a difficult job with problematic people. Do you know that Dr. Pepper was invented in Waco, Texas in 1885? There is no period after Dr. and Dr. Pepper. And there is no going down to my local 7-Eleven and buying a can of delicious Dr. Pepper. This is one of my favorite drinks, but in the last 20 years, I've been able to only buy three cans of Dr. Pepper here in Thailand. But just the other day, Dee pointed out to me that Dr. Pepper could now be bought online. Lazada is like the Amazon for Thailand, and so I took a hurried peek with anticipation of buying some of this fantastic drink. After I saw how much a single can cost, my hopes were dashed. Like I said before, I ain't stupid. In the United States, there are 45 species of bats. 34 of those species are found in Texas. Thailand has 138 different species. About an hour away from DNG are limestone mountains where literally thousands of bats call home. The best viewing site is right next to the local police station, and you will probably need Batman's ring to decode the English. When the bats come out for their evening meal, many of us rely on electricity to keep the candles burning. 
Without juice, life can be uncomfortable. The following commercial is all in Thai, but you will understand the jest of the message. Ron? There are three basic power grids in the U.S. One for the states east of the Rocky Mountains, one for the states between the Pacific and the Rocky Mountains, and one for Texas. The Texas power grid was established during World War II to make sure all of the Texas factories producing critical war supplies were self-sustainable. Now what about Thailand's power grid? Let me start off with saying that I enjoy the winters in Thailand and this year the cool season has been fantastic. Maybe it's climate change, but the chilly mornings in the 60s have lasted longer than usual. However, the hot season is starting to crank up, the heat, and I'm talking the upper 90s. Personally, I turn on the air conditioner most evening. However, most of the rural Thais that live near me do not own an AC, and they can live in some of the hottest abodes with the smallest of fans. Right down the road from us lived an older lady, and since her electrical bill was less than $3 a month, it was free, which was good as she had next to nothing. Apparently, she wanted to live in this tin shed alone instead of staying with her daughter in the house right across the road. Sadly, she passed away a few years back. In Texas, the average monthly electrical bill for residential customers is around $169 a month. The cost of kilowatt per hour is somewhat cheaper here in Thailand, but not by much. And Thais, like many Texans, complain about the high cost of electricity. And just like in the Lone Star State, if a person doesn't pay the bill, the juice is cut off. In 1967, my wife was born in this rural farming community where I live today. Back then, electricity was not available, so many people used oil lamps. Mostly homemade contraptions, as store-bought ones were too expensive. Her family did not have electricity until she was six years old. Thailand has some serious storms and the heavy rains and strong winds can create havoc. But surprisingly, the electricity doesn't go out for long. And where there is a problem, the electrical workers are generally prompt in showing up. There is only one electrical company in Thailand, and my experiences and observations have shown that their standards is on par with the states. Being a lineman is considered a well-paying position, and they start at about $8 an hour. Thailand only uses concrete utility poles simply because the wooden poles are subject to insect attack, and a tropical environment is just plain tough on wood. The problem with electricity in Thailand basically starts at the fuse box in the house. This is where the amateur electricians take over and some are better than others. What I have seen in some places is simply shocking. I don't pretend to be an electrician, but the mother of necessity has forced me to learn the basics. Regardless, let's throw caution out the window and watch some Texas in Thailand. Thailand.
the largest beef producing state in America and Texas take their burgers pretty seriously. So does George's Pizza. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in Oklahoma.